Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Last time I have shared five Google Slides games with you. Now I'm gonna share the remaining five plus two more games. So stay tuned until the end. Let's jump in. Permanism or memory game can be played individually or in groups. So first, the students write their name over here and then they take turns to play. So the first group will choose a number, for example number 1, and reveal what's under it. Because this is third conditional, so we have to find the matching phrase to make this question correct for example mm, number two okay I feel that if I were an astronaut I'd fly to Jupiter yeah that's correct therefore this group get one point and then it's turn of group two and three and the winner is uh, the first group who get the most score it means they can get the most matching questions and answers or you can play it also with matching pictures or matching picture and words and other variation up to four players can play in the same board when playing scrabble but if you have more than four so you can copy the board and other players can play in different boards and at the end you can compare the score so player one will start by copying the tiles over here and put them through the star to make a word you can control c and control v and bring that up there yeah. or you can just copy paste this and then change it to yeah. so uh, when first player is finished like this he has to count the score yeah. so each block is one so this one is five unless there's a special sign like two ls double letter so you can double the letter and then 3ls triple letter and so on yeah. when player 1 finish playing then player 2 can play the score is 5 but because there's a special tiles so it means double the letter so this one become 2 instead of 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes keep doing the whole thing until there's no movement anymore or you can limit their movement by inserting a video of timer so uh, they can play until they hear the alarm goes off like this when they listen to the alarm it means the game is over and they have to count their final score the teachers can monitor their movement using the grid view on the bottom left so they can see so the teachers can see all the movement at the same time Board race can be played while teachers play a song and when the song is stopped in some parts a member of each group has to race to find the last word that they heard like this for example First time someone looked beyond the woman's and the light. Yes, lies, very good but it's pink first right down one besides using it to develop listening skills with words like this from the song 
it can also be used with pictures with young learners who can't read yet also you can use it to review grammar points such as here I use it to review article on ND so I will say a sentence like this you can put all of the sentence here excuse me is there a supermarket near here and then the students can raise to see if the question the sentence is true or false or if it's need a or an or d basically you can use any type of esl board games that you search uh, on the internet so once you found the board game just set it up as the background it won't move around when the students playing on it then find um, an image a token image from here insert image from the web okay so you can search for example lock button clip art here and for example this one and yeah, you can resize it yeah or you can also insert a shape maybe a circle like this you can make your own and color it as you wish and again you can format it into having shadow to make it more believable yeah. for the dice itself usually I like to use the video one this is from YouTube I just click that and all of the students will just say to me stop and I'll stop this or you can use dice from this website they can take turns sharing their screen and roll the dice themselves or you can give them the access of the remote control in zoom so they can click the button from the shared screen like this you can make a twist on the board game by using a pack of cards so when the player lands on contrast for example this one and follow the link I put the link on it yeah, you can put it on the insert link over there in here you can choose or again you can roll a dice so she has to answer question about that example like this nine is describe a jellyfish jellyfish is an animal that lives in the sea it's got to practice the preposition of place teachers can dictate or students can take turn dictating to their friends using the shape over here for example draw a circle in the middle of the paper go and color it brown while you're drawing can you share your screen so now draw two smaller circles who is this animal and and all right i'm gonna show you the real picture and that this is the real picture to play this game students in group or individually they take turns to choose a number for example student one mm, I want number three right and reveal what's under it is a riddle so what's the first letter of the biggest mammal in the world it's B let's see yeah yay correct all right student two what number do you want mm, number four okay let's reveal it what's the riddle the second letter from the back see animal with a big shell hmm is it turtle okay how about the second letter from the back is L right yay keep going until the students reveal all of the letter under the numbers and then the correct word will be revealed this can be done as a warmer to reveal the topic of the day 
This is a fun game to practice new language such as third conditional question. Students can play it in two or three people in a group and each group should be doing it in different breakout room in Zoom. So first player reveals a verb under a number and make a question with the verb under it. For example, what would have happened if your teacher had caught you lying? Other players, uh, the second and the third players, he would say, I would have felt so embarrassed if my teacher had caught me lying. And she would answer, I wouldn't have felt so proud if our teacher had caught me lying. And after that, reveal the picture under it. They have to try to guess as a group. Oh, what picture is that? Mount Bromo? Okay. And you will com be competing with other groups to see who has the correct answer. After that, second player and then third player also reveal the picture. When you finish until number 20, you will be revealing all of the pictures like this. What would have happened if you had been uh, teleported to 20 years forward in your in the future? I would have been so surprised. I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is to look my to look at myself. Am I skinnier? Okay. Am I you know that thing? Okay, we're done. But I don't know this. I think was that a long lost uh, civilization? Wait, is this? Is this Wait. Machu Picchu in Peru? Yes, yes, Machu Picchu. Well done, Machu Picchu. How do you know that?